Hi everyone, you once again welcome to GB Film for Tea Tutorial and I'm still your shoe making it easy to talk. Odurule Mojibala. Now this weekend, our sh weekend shoe making class actually goes with this beautiful sander you have on the screen. I know some people don't really know what this is all about. We are always having a weekend class where we learn a particular kind of design from start to finish. And for this weekend, this, is, this was what we worked on on actually this weekend so if you'd like to join us please use the number on the screen to send me a message on whatsapp and tell me oh i would love to be part of this and i will be willing to actually guide you on how to go about it today we are going to be learning how to create this particular design you have on the screen i've taught how to cut the pattern i'm going to be showing you how to position it perfectly well using your feet so you are not having a shoeless is not an excuse for not partaking in this video sit back and i'll be right all right in my last live stream i actually taught how to create this pattern so today i decided i was going to quickly show us how you can actually use your feet to actually position and last it so if you don't actually have a shoeless and you would like to actually create this particular design you can just use your feet this way i am going to be using my feet right in this video so if you have always been passing by my live stream i will suggest you stop i will suggest you stop so now the first thing you need to pay attention to is the position of your feet make sure that your toes are not outside ensure that it perfectly you know position itself ensure that the distance between here and this in between is five centimeter that is very important make sure the distance between this edge and this side is five centimeter so with that in mind you can continue which means you can actually decide to just measure five centimeter even if the first even if the footwear is not your size you can actually use it to know where exactly to position it ensure that this middle part is actually aligning with the center line of the feet yes make sure it aligns with the center line of the feet and then we are just going to be good to go like this so with what we have here i can just decide to put it under my feet this way and also do the same thing on the other side so with this i can be rest assured of what position to use for them so you can see what it looks like if i don't want the opening to be this much it's expedient to make sure i return them i mean i just adjust to make it a bit close so i think this is a bit close and then um, it seems perfect don't forget that our measurement from here to here still remain remain what please let me know in the comment section remain what remain what please let me know in the comment section so with this i can easily pick this point ensure that it's about 1.2 centimeter away from the edge i'm going to go to this other side as well just to ensure that um, i'm also doing the same thing so with this this is actually this is actually stopping here so i'm going to also pick that side so with those two sides I can go ahead and begin my lasting properly. So, don't forget, we just punch. So, I'm going to just reinforce all of those parts. So, from what I have here, I will now begin to align. The first part is this particular one which has to cover it so that is that I'm going to go to this other parts and do the same thing
so with this i have the first part i'm just going to use my utility knife to open make sure you don't just cut straight this side is curved make sure it's curved as well so with this we have this open and we are going to be slotting this right in there now somebody is wondering what kind of material am i using as my insole or footbed it's actually called nora this is nora 3 it's just like a rubber sheet you can see it it's actually a rubber sheet you can use any kind of footbed you can use any kind i've actually thought about different kinds of footbed that you can create so i need you to check this out on this channel I will try to put some at the back at the end of this video so that you can watch. Please, if you download it, you won't be seeing it. Only those who watch will be able to see how to locate different kind of footbed. So from this now, all we need is to insert our shoe last. Then we'll be able to know what next. So I've inserted the shoe last now. So try to make sure that it fits it adjust it to fit So, from what I have here, of course, this has to stay properly like this. I'm going to use this to fit all of this. You can see there are small, small little differences, you know, in between them. So, it means I can't open it all together. If I decide to open it, I'm going to be having opening, as you can see, all this opening here. So, it means I'm definitely going to follow it that same way. That is for this side. Now, for this other side, of course, I'm also going to try to align that. I'm going to align that as well. So, same thing for this side as well. You can see some spaces as well. So, I'm also going to follow that trend. So, from this, let me first of all pick the last part first, which is this side holding it this way i know i can pick it like that i'm just going to go ahead and then um, like i said about 1.2 centimeter away from the edge so we have this right here i'm going to do the same thing i did to the other one So let's do that now for the one at the middle don't forget there is still one in the middle right here now if we are not careful we are going to find that that it's going to be having an opening so let me just decide to punch away from this one and let's see what is finally going to look like so i'm punching there now it's there's probability that it enters into here but let me first of all open that lower part first because for me i'm not going to suggest you open it all together at a go open them separately and be sure they can stay together if not you will find out that you won't like the results you are going to be having positioning also makes your work very neat how you position it makes your work very neat so let's see what this looks like so 
with this now okay with what we have right here now you can see let's see what it's going to look like if i join it together will this survive it do i have to join it together i hope you can see what it looks like you can see that there's still this thin line between them but it seems a bit close to this one so let me see if it can go along with what i have there please take your time when you are positioning this way so that you don't have i can actually decide not to use the same spot a bit away from it a bit away i am a bit away from that now if you don't want to go through all of this feel free to just wrap your insole and let it pass by the side feel free to allow it pass by the side so let's see what this is going to look like couple with this okay i think this is good enough you can see what it looks like i'm not having any extra opening can you see nothing extra right here and that's supposed to be the perfect way this should look like the same thing i've done here is the same process you're going to follow on this other side as well all right you can finally see what this now looks like so all i need to do is just to duplicate it on the second you know leg and i'm good to go i don't have to go through this process again i'm just going to place it at the back and mark all those points out so basically this is what i actually want to show us today and i want to say thank you for joining me once again i'm sure some of us already seen the video the live session that i add on how to call this pattern so please when you see my live stream make sure you don't pass by it because really i want to know who exactly need what i'm actually passing across i don't want you to underestimate any of my sessions so thank you once again and i'm gonna see you next time bye